What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today I wanna to talk about eight new Apple products that we should be seeing sometime in 2018. A number of these have been confirmed by Apple already, so let's go ahead and get started. I wanna kick things off with the iPhone 10 Plus. Now this has not been confirmed by Apple and neither has the iPhone SE 2, which we'll talk about in just a second, but they are going to be happening. Multiple sources has confirmed that Apple is working on a larger iPhone 10 with a screen size between 6.2 and 6.5 inches. Obviously that is gonna be a massive display if they go with 6.5 inches, that will be an entire inch larger than the current iPhone 6 Plus, 7 Plus, and 8 Plus. That would be an absolutely huge display on there. It's also going to obviously have a faster processor, better cameras, some improvements when it comes to augmented reality. And one other change that I'm really excited for is a larger battery. Rumors have it now at 3300 to 3400 milliamp hours, which is absolutely gigantic. The iPhone 10 Plus is going to be a monster, and I'm really excited to see what Apple does with it. Alongside a new iPhone 10 Plus with a huge OLED display, Apple's also working on a better version of the iPhone 10 with the 5.8 inch OLED and an additional new iPhone 10 with a 6.1 inch LCD screen. So the way it's going to work next year in 2018 is there's going to be the two premium models, the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 10 Plus or whatever they end up being called, and then a lower end 6.1 inch LCD iPhone that shares a lot of the same properties with the other iPhone 10s, like Face ID, the edge to edge display, and everything that's already good in the iPhone 10 should be coming to a cheaper model next year, which is really exciting. But moving on to number two on this list, Apple is also expected to announce an iPhone SE 2. I'm so, so excited for this phone. There's a lot of people that I know that I've interacted with that I see online asking where this smaller iPhone is. Because Apple announced the iPhone SE 1 back in March of 2016, but haven't touched it since. A lot of people thought we would see a new model this year. That was not the case. But some sources have reported that an iPhone SE 2 assembled exclusively in India will be making its way to Apple's product lineup in 2018. This is a second product that has not been confirmed. No one from Apple has said, yes, we're working on a second generation iPhone SE. But this device is rumored to be assembled exclusively in India and apparently some specs leaked this summer. We don't know how accurate these are gonna be, but it is rumored to have an A10 Fusion chip, which is pretty fast, two gigabytes of RAM, 32 and 128 gigabyte storage capacities, a 12 megapixel rear and five megapixel front facing camera, and a slightly larger 1700 milliamp hour battery. Now, once again, we don't know how accurate those specs are, but I think they give us a relatively good look at what we could expect to see from an iPhone SE 2. So many people that I've talked to want a smaller iPhone, well, personally, the iPhone 10 5.8 inch screen size is, is perfect for me. A lot of people want a smaller four inch iPhone, and I think the iPhone SE 2 has a great place in Apple's product lineup. Once again, it's not been confirmed by Apple, but a number of sources have said that we'll probably see it announced at some point in the first half of 2018. Now, moving on from the new iPhones coming in 2018, we are also expecting second generation AirPods. That rumor comes courtesy of KGI and an additional AirPods wireless charging case for first generation AirPods. Now, the only thing we know about second generation AirPods right now, we don't know if they'll sound better, what they'll look like, if they'll have longer battery life. Those are things that I'd like to to see, but KGI reports that they will use less quartz inside of them, which doesn't tell us a whole lot at all. I've been using AirPods for about a year now, and they have consistently remained one of my favorite Apple products. They're super intuitive, and I would argue that they're one of the most innovative Apple products in recent history. You see a lot of other companies doing wireless earbuds, but they're not truly wireless. Like this is an earbud here and an earbud here. A lot of other companies have wires or they're circular. They look a little bit strange. I think AirPods are the best wireless earbuds on the market. They're expensive, but for me, they're totally worth it. And if you own AirPods right now and you don't wanna to upgrade to that second generation, you'll be able to buy a wireless charging case because I believe the AirPods 2 are gonna come bundled with a wireless charging case. So you can do that if you want to, but for me, wireless charging isn't super important. So I will be waiting for the full AirPods 2 release. At number four, we have the Apple AirPower wireless charging mat. And this is a product that they showed off at the September 2017 keynote alongside the iPhone 10 but they haven't said a whole lot about afterwards. It looks nice, it looks like you connect it via a lightning cable, and it provides wireless charging for your Apple Watch, for your iPhone, for your AirPods, and that wireless charging case that will be available sometime in 2018. It looks pretty interesting, but I feel like this is gonna be one of those stereotypical Apple products that costs like 150 or $200, where you can buy a really nice wireless charger now 
for about $50. I may end up picking one up just because it looks pretty convenient to stack all of your devices right next to each other. For me, that would be perfect to have my AirPods, my watch, and my iPhone charged simultaneously next to each other every night. Like I could see this being really useful on a nightstand, but it's it's just a wireless charger. I'm trying not to get too excited for it, but it does look pretty cool and I'm interested to see what the final price is gonna be. Next up is the HomePod at number five. We were supposed to see this in 2017. I was so upset to see that Apple delayed it until sometime in early 2018. And Apple's announced pretty much everything we need to know about this device, how powerful it is, how good it's gonna sound. They have an entire page on their website dedicated to the product. It was supposed to launch alongside the iMac Pro this December in 2017, but Apple just decided to delay it for some reason. I'm really excited to get my hands on this device. I wanna see how it rivals other smart speakers uh, like the Sonos One, like Amazon Alexa, like the Google Home Mini or the Google Home in general. It's a lot more expensive than most of those devices, so I'm hoping it sounds really great, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see till we get our hands on the device sometime reportedly in early 2018. But for Apple, that can be anywhere from January 1st to sometime in late April. At number six is a bezel-less iPad Pro. Bloomberg has reported a number of the features that we should be seeing on this device, including that edge-to-edge bezel-less display. Unfortunately, it will not be an OLED. It will still be an LCD screen. Face ID, a new Apple Pencil, and new software to go alongside that. And another source is also reported that we will be seeing an eight-core A11X processor. Now, if that turns out to be the case, that's gonna be ridiculously powerful. It should be the fastest iOS device ever if that turns out to be true. Obviously, we're still a few months out before we see this iPad, so we don't know about all the intricacies just yet. But with Face ID and a bezel-less display on top of a crazy fast processor, I'm definitely going to be picking one of those up. It sounds super great, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Moving on to number seven is a modular Mac Pro. I was so excited to see the release of the brand new Mac Pro back in 2013 that looked like a trash can. Apple is now working on a modular version of the Mac Pro for professionals that's going to be launching sometime in 2018. Here's what they had to say at the end of the iMac Pro press release about the forthcoming Mac Pro. In addition to the new iMac Pro, Apple is working on a completely redesigned next generation Mac Pro architected for pro customers who need the highest performance high throughput system in a modular upgradable design as well as a new high-end pro display. So in that short paragraph or sentence or two of text, they tease two new products, a completely redesigned modular Mac Pro and a new display for professionals. A lot of people have been saying that this new pro display is going to be 8K, which would be obviously really exciting to see. And I cannot wait to see the design of this Mac Pro unveiled. If it's going to be modular, I'm sure Apple has something really intuitive and smart up their sleeves. This is a product that hasn't been refreshed in about four years since the 2013 model was unveiled after being ignored for a number of years before that. In April of 2017, Apple said they're working on a new Mac Pro, but now we know it's going to be modular for sure. It's gonna be completely redesigned, hopefully from the ground up. And I'm so interested to see what Apple does with this product. I'm sure it will be far out of my own price range, but for professionals that need the highest performance in an upgradable system, the next generation Mac Pro is probably gonna be made for you. Finally, at number eight, the last Apple product that we should be seeing in 2018 is the Apple Watch Series 4. They just announced the Series 3 back in September with GPS capabilities. It's really great. It's the best Apple Watch by a landslide. And I'm so excited to see what things they're working on for the next generation Apple Watch. There have been two recent reports from Bloomberg and the New York Times detailing upcoming features for future Apple Watches. We just don't know if they'll be coming in the Apple Watch Series 4 in 2018, or maybe even later in 2018. 2019 or 2020. The first feature is an electrocardiogram or EKG, and that would be so huge to be inside of an Apple Watch. In simple terms, an electrocardiogram or EKG gives you a more detailed picture of how someone's heart is doing and can even detect things like a heart attack which would be super beneficial for anyone that might not even know they have a heart condition. This EKG or electrocardiogram built into a future Apple Watch could save a lot more lives than the standard heart rate sensor that is built into the Apple Watches right now. And following Bloomberg's report on the new EKG feature, the New York Times says that Apple is also working on non-invasive continuous glucose monitoring for a new Apple Watch. And the reason that one is so interesting is because the only way to measure glucose now is by breaking the skin, by pricking a finger or taking a blood sample. And that's pretty invasive, like getting your skin pricked and poked is kind of painful. 
So if Apple is somehow working on a way to test glucose continuously using a monitor on a new Apple Watch, that would literally change the lives of some people with glucose deficiencies. And I think that's such a cool idea. While Bloomberg's report of the EKG could potentially happen in the near future, Apple is only beginning to experiment and research non-invasive glucose monitoring. But both of those ideas are so interesting and I can't wait to see what happens in the future. Unfortunately, besides those two new health features, we don't know anything else about the Apple Watch Series 4, but of course, stay tuned to iUpdateOS and subscribe down below for more news on any Apple products coming in the future. That is going to wrap up this list of eight new Apple products coming sometime in 2018. I'm really excited for the future of Apple. They seem to be working on a lot of really cool stuff, everything from a wireless charging mat to tech on an Apple Watch that could potentially save lives. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you want to help support the channel, you can head over to iUpdateOS.com slash merch and buy a t-shirt or hoodie and that would really help me out. But as for now, I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great and I will talk to you in my next video.